So when Christians try to ask me what came before the Big Bang or they try to say that we believe something came from nothing, I just assume that they've never heard of this or that they just don't understand it at all. I actually don't know of any scientist who believes that something came from nothing. Even the cosmologists who developed the singularity theorems like Penrose and Hawking, they ended up rejecting that assumption and they were the ones that contributed to its discovery. So in reality, our physics can't reliably describe the universe to us until after this theoretical singularity. So there's no reason to assume the universe isn't eternal. The term Big Bang itself was actually coined by Fred Hoyle, who was a detractor of that theory. If they want to say their God is the sufficient first cause that exists outside of time, they could just drop the extra baggage and call it the universe, or call it nature. That's God. Yes, there's still mysteries, but we shouldn't fill those gaps with a vengeful, self-contradicting, man-like being who supposedly gave us a holy book, but it's actually full of the sexual war fantasies of ancient men. There is wisdom in ancient writings, but the human mind can build on the best parts that reflect reality and let the worst parts teach us about the psychology of the writers at that time. There is no mass without energy, but there is energy without mass. Maybe this is why so many people throughout all of history have claimed that energy is the essence of reality. Anywhere we have a particle with mass, it automatically has to have energy. But it is possible to just have energy without any particles of mass. 